Here with head coach Ashley Wade, series clinching win over Charleston uh, today. What would you like from your club having to come back for the second day in a row from an early deficit? Yeah, definitely the offensive production at the end and Elizabeth Winston kind of getting that rally started for us, especially with two outs. And so for her to lead that inning or lead off with a walk there in that situation and then the back-to-back -back bunts from TiVo and Cass, it was just great to put us in that pressure situation and to have three of our fastest players on the bases. I thought we were in a good spot to get a couple runs there, which we did, so which was great. And then Emily Winston in the circle, she just did a great job, gave up a couple runs early on the home run but was able to shut it down and had a ton of strikeouts in that game as well. So a great performance out of her and way to bounce back from giving up the home run too. You talk about Emily and Kara both, you know, constantly evolving um, throughout their, their time here and both both yesterday and today, they both got into early holes and, you know, mentally that, that can be a little, um, little hard to over, overcome for some pitches, but they were both able to settle down 12 strikeouts for Emily today. Just kind of that maturity that, that, sh that both of them are showing and how important that is for your staff as you continue to move um, towards the conference tournament. Yeah, I think that comes from experience, obviously them growing from a maturity standpoint as well, as you mentioned, and a trust in the defense and a trust in the offense. So they know that their teammates have their back and that they can only do so much in the circle for the team to help us win. And that's their goal every single day is to do what they can and do their part in that. But obviously they rely on their teammates as well for the offensive production and the defense behind them. But I think that's a big difference for them this year is that they really trust the defense behind them and know that they have their back and they don't have to do it all. And or fortunately for us, it kind of leads to them being able to do it all sometimes too. It was a big day on campus. I welcomed a lot of alumni back, including many from that first 85 team of fast pitch softball here at UNCW. What was it like just interacting with them and, and sharing stories and uh, watching, watching the old Seahawks compete? Uh, with the new Seahawks today. It was great to have them back and to have such a big group here. It was just a, definitely a special day, not only with the throwback jerseys to honor that 1985 team and then our coaches apparel as well, but just to have them here, hear the stories. They've been here since, you know, four, one o'clock really, just to out in the lot, just talking to them and our coaching staff and talking to our players as well. And just to have them back here, hear their stories and just be a part of this 40th anniversary celebration is just really special. Throughout the year, it kind of seems this team is, is building this reputation as being able to build these late comebacks and, you know, fight to the, the last out. You know, just that, where, where does that mentality come from? One of our goals this year was to be gritty, and I think that's exactly what they have evolved into. And so that was something we struggled a little bit a little bit with last year is where if we were down early in a game, we kind of would fall flat sometimes and kind of give up on it. And this year they just have that dog mentality where it doesn't matter what the score is, they know that they trust in themselves and they can come back from any deficit. And so that's just gritty mentality is something that they've been keeping in their back pocket this whole year.